Okay, so today we're going to be doing a map guide to Highway. We're going to be looking at it from the northern spawn first. And I'm just going to talk about the different angles that I'm used to using in medium tanks specifically, because that's what I like to play. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about medium tank play on this map. Hopefully that can be helpful to you. So, first things first, when you're on Highway, uh, medium tanks generally like to play the 1-2 area, regardless of which side you're on. Now. It works, but it doesn't work because the way this map plays out is if you're going to, let's pretend we're in our bat shot, we're going to A1 or something to play out. We have to make sure we have teammates with us because if I'm over here uh, playing on this side of the map and I have no teammates, nothing, I, I'm just going to get rushed and die. I mean, that's how the map works. So a lot of times you'll have TDs on your team, like let's pretend you're in a game, you have a couple mediums with you, maybe one medium with you, and five TDs are camping back here, which is quite typical. Um, what will happen is you'll just get rushed and die. I mean, most people don't expect, they don't think about this kind of thing. They don't realize there's TDs back there. And most of the time, the TDs who can't base aren't going to be good enough to keep you alive. So if you're deciding that you want to play A1 on this map, which you can in medium tanks, uh, you just need to make sure you have teammates with you. Now, when you're playing this area, what a lot of people will do, especially in fast mediums, is they'll rush up to this bush. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this A1 location, but I have seen it work. What you can do is you can just sort of place yourself on this red line. You want to reverse into the position so you can run away quickly. And then, I mean, if you're in a bat chat, you can clip people out who will be sort of driving into position down this road here. And a lot of times people will be in that bush as well. So that's what you can do on this side. I've also seen some people play like this house right here and they'll play hull down. This isn't a very good position because you're going to be fighting people above you. You're going to get clicked and things like that. So my experience with this angle right here is that you're shooting at hull down people who are above you, uh, which just totally makes their, their position even stronger. So uh, typically if I've decided I want to play the field aggressively, I'll never go to A1. The bush works, but I don't do it. I prefer to come up to this uh, water tower right here and I'm going to show you how that works. So. Right up here, uh, you're going to get clicked. I mean, that's what happens. As long as there's minimal arty, this position works. It works especially well in, you know, hull down mediums. So one, two, one, Russian mediums, things like that. And what I'll do is I'll play... If you look at this where I am right now, it's really, really easy to play and do well. There's going to be TDs back here, but by being as aggressive as you are when you're in this position, a lot of the times the enemies are going to get scared because they see aggressive tier 10 medium tank and they're going to sit in this area which makes them really easy arty targets and if the tds are somewhat bright they'll leave the base and they'll come down to like here to get shots so um if you've decided you want to play field on this map i would go to c1 but you want to look at the context of the teams because if they have three arty there's no reason to go field or if you have one medium with you and they have five mediums on their teams again their mediums are going to be up here and if you're in this aggressive of a position I mean, these guys back here, they haven't left base yet. They're obviously not the greatest of players, so they're not going to be able to support you. So, um, yeah, I would play this position if you're going to play the field. I wouldn't I wouldn't really mess around with A1 because you can just sort of poke around like so. And if you don't have the gun depression to hit things, what you do is you just come back to this type of area, and suddenly I have the gun depression. So if I was in a 62A or something, I'd have shots on people right here. And by coming wide, I... Uh, don't need as much gun depression to do that so instead of poking over the ridge like uh like so i will just come wide and, and sort of reduce the effect of my shitty gun depression on my tank so that's how i play the field aggressively if i'm on the north spawn what i'll typically do on this map if i don't have many mediums i will either play the city or i'll play the middle passively because i don't like to commit to this side uh, when I'm on the north i hate going to c1 immediately and i hate going to a1 immediately unless i know like that our team has a huge advantage so a lot of the times what i'll do is i'll sit back in these trees and it is in the open so this position is very common to getting ruined by some idiot scout who drives through the field but uh a lot of times what i'll do is i'll just sit back here i'm not trying to spot anything or do anything like that i just want to have the gun elevation to hit them which is pretty easy to find and uh from here you can see i'm going to render people who are at d1 so you can blind fire this bush typically don't blind fire the bush like this if you shoot right here it works um and eventually you'll have teammates going to a1 and they'll be spotting for you and that will sort of give you more information so you can uh make an edu educated decision when you're playing the field so if you don't know how the field's going to play out but you think you might have a chance consider going to this area you need to watch your map every three or four seconds because there might be a light tank who's trying to 
go up this river or trying to scout the field or something, he will spot you. The way you get out of this situation is you just drive so that TD's at G3 and these guys can't render you anymore because realistically, if you're spotted and you're here, no one's going to be able to hit you. So again, you if you're making a play like this, angle your tank away so you can run away. And then before you get spotted, you want to start running. And uh, I mean, that's typically what works out for me. Obviously, you have to do this in a fast medium. Uh, that has camo because that's going to give you a bit more time But typically I'll just sort of hang out there if I don't want to play c1 because a1 doesn't work out But I gave you if you want to play a1 just play the bushes and hug the red line as far as the city goes I've basically covered the mid I will typically I guess I'll just go there and show you I'll typically go to this sort of area. I like the zero line a lot because it gives you uh, it keeps you sort of at the back of the fight. You don't really have to, in a medium, if you're in a city, you can't be front, or it's very difficult to be front lines. So a lot of the times this location gives you a lot of angles, uh, and it gives you the ability to run away, which is something really important. Situations change in city fights very, very quickly. So um, if you're in a medium tank and you've decided to play the city, a lot of times you'll see me go up to this house here and I'll commit there, and that's because I have this, the ability to do so. If you're just, um, you know, for an average player, I would sort of just hang out here. I'd shoot this line. You can pop back and shoot this. Obviously, you need to make sure this is cleared or the guy's reloading or something to do so. And uh, you can just sort of continue doing this. Now, you need to be careful when you're playing in any sort of city map because the second they see, mm, I don't know, if there's a mouse right here and he sees a medium tank who's aggressively poking, that mouse will just focus you down. And he might wait there for a minute or so while his teammates are dying around just to kill you. So... If you're ever in a city map and you see people focusing you down like that, get unspotted and then change your angle. So a lot of times, if I haven't been able to use the corner that I like the uh, J0 corner that I was talking about successfully, I'll move. Mediums have a ton of mobility, so a lot of times you can just sort of move to this area. That gets you even closer to the fight, makes you a lot more potent. So I don't know. This angle works really well in my experience. Again, you can poke out like so. You might be camp, you, you know, camped by some heavy who sees a medium tank and wants you dead. But eventually, as you're pushing through the city, I will push up to this house here. And, um, you know, typically you'll have teammates who are fighting under this silo thing. And uh, a lot of the times, th there's going to be tanks here. You'll have maybe a tank with you, and you can just sort of continue to brawl it out. You want to be shooting people who aren't spotted, get shots into this line. Because a lot of the times, when I push up to here, there's still a tank behind this area. So he would never really poke on me unless I was a one shot so a lot of the times he'll start backing up and you can hit them right here uh, but you also want to be aware that you know maybe just some red player decides to poke on this corner right so it's very possible that that happens but um, when pushing up I like to do so like this this way you still have cover you can take your time clearing it out you need to make teammates make sure you have teammates but I'll go to this corner or this corner and then I'll play from here uh, and then by that point in time, if you've got teammates with you, you're going to have won the city. So that's pretty much how I'll play the city. You just need to play your angles, take your time, especially in a medium tank, because otherwise it's just not going to work. From here, if I'm pushing this area, I always push through this area. And the reason I do like this courtyard, I guess, and the reason I do that as opposed to this road or this road, is because TDs way back love to just hide. So... I find this road is super unarty safe. I'm, it's very hard for TDs to hit you, but you can see if they were just sitting on the red line in their base like most TD players do, they would have shots. It's a lot safer to go through like this and sort of clear out this area as opposed to playing these two roads because that just doesn't work. So when I'm pushing through, a lot of the times I'll go like this and then I will never really leave the, like I'll never push past this road, I guess, right here, you can see. And the reason for that is you're exposing yourself to camping TDs. So the only cover available to you if you try to push through down the uh, K line or something is these houses and then there's nothing. So this position is really, really bad to be in. Instead of pushing down the K line, I guess I can go over this for the one line too. Uh, I will not push down here at all. There's no reason to do it uh, unless you have speed and maybe they're in your base or something. But in this case, we're assuming that we've held the base. Our five camping TDs have done that, which is quite typical on this map. A lot of the times, if I've decided I want to push the K line, I will do it something like this. Because this way, I'm using bushes. You can see on this on the map, there's a bit of an outcropping here. You can sort of conceal yourself for quite a bit. You can also pick up speed, and that's going to be really, really helpful because normally there's like a 704 who's like 
still sitting here if you're trying to push. So you can you need to make sure there's nothing that's going to spy you, but you can just sort of drive down like so. It minimizes your risk. Obviously, if there's anything near that water tower or anything like that, they probably won't spot you. So this is probably going to be the safest way to do it. You want to make sure maybe that you have a tank in the middle. So he's spotting this guy right here. Um, but that's, that's how I go about pushing this side because TDs are pretty much always just going to look for cover behind this these, these type of buildings here. And you want to try to make it impossible for them to spot you. So that's my experience uh, with pushing through. You just need to make sure that there's going to be no one on G3 or whatever to hit you. I would also suggest only pushing down the KJ or JH line and if you have hit points. You need to expect that you're going to get hit for 750. If you don't, that's great. But uh, I would just assume it's going to happen. If you don't have the HP to make this quick push, a lot of the times you're going to be heading back to base. Um, because what like what I've found on this map is this push never happens. I gave you the ability to push that, that side. I wouldn't suggest doing it. It's a lot safer once you've sort of secured the city to go back to base, make sure they haven't won the base, and then you can push down this sort of middle road and you're going to see. So uh, as far as the game plan goes, maybe you decide to play the city. You win the city, you don't push down the KJ line because you took a couple hits in the city, which happens. Uh, but your team is doing well on the field. You've sort of won, your team has won maybe down to D1 or whatever. So a lot of the times, this is when the field like underneath the bridge becomes super strong. I'll just dive right down into here and a lot of times people won't be prepared because it's mid to end game. They'll be, you know, focusing on the tanks that they've actually seen on game. So you'll have come from the city, they won't know you're here. And then once you get under this area, I mean, it's pretty safe. You'll have really good shots on anyone in D1 uh, if that hasn't been cleared out yet. And you can see it is quite valuable. Obviously, your team has to control A1 if you want this to work. Because uh, if you get spotted and there's tanks right here, they'll be held down and they'll have shots in you. So that's my experience with this side. And then as far as sort of pushing in, you've got quite a few options. You can push up the E line, like up this road and sort of use that side for cover or a lot of the times what i'll do is i'll just sort of sneak up like this now again a lot of the like there's generally tds who sit in this bush here you're gonna probably take a hit doing this so you want to make sure you have enough hit points to do that or you want to make sure there's no one there so you can maybe use your sixth sense and see if something spots you through that bush uh and then i'll come up to this area and sort of push through so um that's that's my general thing. If I've won the one line, I'll do the same thing. I'll go down to E5 and I'll push that area because from here, you basically have side shots and all the camping people who haven't left their base yet. So by poking like this, it's a very strong position. You don't even have to be doing damage. You're just gonna be turning people's guns for your you know teammates who are pushing down this road here. We'll be pushing down the red line. So I love this position. I'll come to here very often. Um, and I'll just go over like how I'll play. If I have one C1, I'll just rush down to D5 or E5 unless I don't really have any other options. So I'll show you how I do that, I guess. Obviously, you have to do this safely. There's a lot of context. You have to make sure you know it's safe before you make any sort of play. But what I'll do is like if I have one C1, instead of like a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just make a beeline to it. And it sort of works, but it doesn't. You want to get there as quickly as possible. But if you've been fighting out in this area or whatever, and you see, okay, they've got an E3 camping right here. I don't want to fight that E3. Let's just change the situation. What I'll do is I'll get unspotted. And then from here, you can sort of, if you know, you want to know who's here, if they have a scout there, you're going to need to come wider, but you can just sort of do this type of thing. This is going to be a lot better for you. It's going to make it harder for them to spot you. If they don't have a scout, there's no way the camping TDs are going to light you. And this will give you another angle of attack that uh, often is very valuable when dealing with camping TDs. So I'll leave the C1. I never really push down the one line unless it's a raffle stomp and like I'm just chasing damage. But if I'm actually trying to, uh, if the game is close or whatever and you need to be safe, this is the route you want to take if you're playing the one line and you want to push into their base. Obviously, this is uh, assuming they haven't won the city, because if you're in this location, let me point this out. If you're trying to play this angle or whatever, and they have the one line, like uh, or the J line, if they're here, and you're trying to make this play, you can see they would have shots in you. Now, this does work vice versa, but this is so aggressive that you're just going to be lit immediately. Like Once you get under here, you're probably going to get spotted by someone. So uh, I would not suggest doing this unless your team has cleared out the J line. Um, and obviously, if you've played the city and done that, you can just immediately go here. But from the C1 location, the only situation where you can do this is if you've sort of cleared out the one line. Because as you can see, there's there's a ton of uh, 
times that you'll be exposed to this side, especially when you're poking on these guys. You'll have to clear this line out too. You can see I do get shots, but that's sort of, if you're looking away like this, I have found that a lot of people will YOLO you. So if they see you looking away and there's like uh, a 704 here, and I don't know, maybe you're purple or whatever, they'll see that easy kill or what they consider to be an easy kill. They'll see the easy kill looking away. And so they'll try to like rush you or whatever. A lot of times people will try to jump onto you from here. So uh, this is a... Uh, uh, an end game position for sure. You wanna make sure you're able to control this position and not be killed. So that's my experience from the north spawn. I guess we can do the uh, south spawn next video. Hope this was helpful, thanks.